Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Fresh crisis looms as 16 APC members in AKT issue statements against fire me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. We want to say a very big thank you for your huge, massive and continuous support. We truly, really appreciate you. God bless you. Uh, if you have not given us a thumbs up, this would be a good time to do so. Thank you very much. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. My dear, this one just dropped on us right now. We know Fire Me is the leader of the Governors Forum of APC. And um, right now, what we are hearing is that 16 APC members in the Kitty State have issued a statement against him. We don't know exactly what he has done, but we're going to find out. We're going to get into the news and get all the details. I mean, in APC, there is a lot of crisis here and there. A lot of matters and issues have been going on, but let us get into the issue and know what Fire Me has done this time again. Members of the All Progressive Congress APC in AKT State, including Baba Femi Ojodo and aide to President Muhammad Buhari, has accused Governor Fayemi of making attempts to silence the voice of dissents in the state's party chapter. Wow. The aggravated members, numbering 16, raised the complaint in a statement issued on Sunday, June the 28th, in another unfolding drama that is about to trail the APC leadership crisis at the national level. What is going on with APC? APC? It's as if they just put themselves together, they were not coordinated, and now we are beginning to see all the loopholes. You know when a man uses uh, sand to do the foundation of a building without digging into the ground, just built on top of the sand, on top of stand, you know if there is bound to be you know, issues with that house. It will not be a solid one. Anyway, let's continue with the news. The member said, since 2018, when Governor Fayemi was elected, the ch state chapter has not convened any political meeting of stakeholders. No new members driven, no political activity at all. According to them, Governor Fayemi is striving to ask some members of the party top members out as an orchestration effort to hack them down politically. The aggravated APC members also lamented the unjust suspension of some members in what they call, they said is denying them their right to serve in different government positions. They, however, warned that the governor's action is capable of impending the growth of the party and making the members of the party dwindle into an accelerated rate. The statement issued by the aggravated members, it reached us and was accused of, he was also accused of non-performance. In almost two years, the party had not convened any political meeting of stakeholders. No new members drive. No political activity whatsoever to wrap up and to consolidate the place and presence of the party in the state as we speak. Since inception of his administration up till date, Fayemi has done nothing to grow APC in Ekiti State. Instead of growth, the membership of the party is dwindling by the day. Indeed, the more visible, the more the orchestrated efforts to hack down the people, the members, down in an, in an adverse or suspend, suspending to make sure that the people do not rise or become anything in the state. They also berated the Ekiti State Governor of non-performance, adding that since Fayemi took over in his second tenure, no tangible project has been done in the state. Ojodo and the other 15 members also challenged the governor to explain his efforts in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. He has not done anything. Nothing has been done in Ekiti State, we can tell you. Meanwhile, Leeds Niger reported that Otobo Olushegun, a former APT state governorship aspirant on the platform of APC, has issued a strong warning 
following the crisis rocking the ruling party. Agbadu Jogobi, who revealed this in a statement in in Ekiti, explained that if the alleged impunity of Ekiti state governor is not addressed, the party will soon collapse. The former global aspirant went on to add that Fayemi should be held responsible for the internal crisis rocking the Ekiti state chapter of APC. Well, my people, like we said, the APC crisis has not stopped. It continues on and on and on. And this is what is happening afresh. Ekiti state don't start. Ekiti state has started its own. You know, uh, Governor Fayemi, the leader of the Governor's Forum in Ekiti State, has been accused of non-performance that since he took on his second tenure, he has not done a single thing in the state. And um, what they are saying now is that if, if care is not taken, Ekiti State is going into serious trouble with the actions of what Fayemi is doing at this time. They said since Fayemi came into power, he has not, not a single meeting has been held. To, to, you know, to encourage the people to facilitate leadership, drive, and the presence of APC in AKT State. Well, they are informing the national body of which it has gotten to the news now. That this is what is going on. That Fire Me is not helping the state. He's not doing anything tangible to make sure that AKT State see the light of day. He's doing everything to frustrate the, uh, you know, the state chapter of the people. And they are reporting this now to the leadership to say that if care is not taken, Ekiti State is going, APC is dying in Ekiti State as it is. APC is going into extinction gradually. And they are calling on the leaders of the, of the party to look into this matter because they are saying the leader of the governor's forum, uh, Fayemi, is not doing anything to help the state at all. He's not having meetings. He's not encouraging new members. There is no drive for new members to join. There is no meetings. There is nothing whatsoever. And so if this trend continue, you can see that and you can say that any other person who is going to come and, and uh, you know, Contest under the leadership of APC might not have uh, might not have the support of the state. Why? Because they've not seen APC performing or doing anything tangible in the state, and so they are calling on uh, the leadership of APC to speak and to address Fayemi as it is. That Fayemi is not doing anything in Ekiti. Is not helping the state to grow. Is not uh, is not facilitating development, and as well as his own party is not doing anything. So this even uh, uh, an aid. To President Muhammadu Buhari, you know, is part of those accusing Fayemi, saying that Fayemi has done these things and have not done this in Ekiti State and that they need to get all hands on deck. Otherwise, a K um, APC is already dying in Ekiti State as it is in many other states. The crisis prevailing in um, APC as a party as a whole is fast becoming, you know, something that every day on, on the face of the newspaper, on television, national, local, state level, chapter level i mean it's all over the place but what truly really can be done apc needs to get themselves together does it mean that when they came into power there was no clear cut of what they were going to do because you can see that there was a bit of uh, drive and direction up until buhari was elected on his second tenure as soon as buhari's second tenure started you could see that the party started losing every form of credibility and even within them you know fights that's everything we've been hearing where the N uh, nec is meeting and dissolving the party a whole host of other things that has been happening in the party i mean these are some of the issues trailing apc now as we speak just last week the nec had a meeting where they dissolved the uh, nwc the national working committee and have uh, elected the critical committee of which some lawyers even in the country are picking it up with apc saying that you people have not done well you have broken your own constitution and constitution your constitution are there to give direction so that people do not make people do not go out of uh, order and things are done decently and in order so that everybody can know exactly what is happening but as it is this is uh, what is happening now you know so my people 
Ah, APC, the crisis continues, but what do you think? What do you really think is the matter? What do you really think is going on uh, with APC? Do you think this is a party that anybody might really want to, you know, get involved and really uh, settle with? Do you think APC can lead Nigeria again after 2023? Anyway, what do you think? Don't forget to like or share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.